Hey guys, this is the fourth video in the series called To Better Yourself. Now this one is about relationships. The video I just posted before this was about love life. I, I, I titled it Relationships, but it's still, it's more about love life. This one is about your friendships and family. Just because they're family doesn't mean you have to keep them. There are quite a few people in my family that they're blood, but they're not truly family, if you understand that. There, I have a lot more friends who are close enough to be family that I consider family. My grandma, who I owe her a lot. Uh, honestly, a lot of people don't know this. I wouldn't be alive if it wasn't for her. She has talked me off the ledge so many different times, and thankfully, I'm really, I'm, I'm really away from a lot of that part of my life with a lot of the suicide and cutting and all that that I did go through. And there's a lot of there's a lot of you out there who went through the same stuff I have. So I'm I definitely don't want pity. I don't want any of that. Please, please do not take this as me going. Oh, poor me, poor me. I don't. I've been through what I've been through to get where I am today. And through a lot of this course of action, I have found that you need to choose people in your life that you love and respect that will be there with you till the end. It may not be your parents. Uh, I love my parents to death, but they are not one that if I am really struggling something deep in my life that I'm... I'm really fighting with this certain issue, whether it's my sexuality, uh, I'm having this issue with my boyfriend, they're, I, again, I love them to death, it's nothing against them, but they're not the first person I turn to. I turn to my grandma. She is, I call her my seed, because I consider, and some of this philosophy I did get from Tyler Perry, as I mentioned, there's some of the stuff I stole from him, but... I'll kind of show you this brief description. I mean, you can kind of see there in my notes. I even drew a tree. And I'm, I'm a beautiful artist, aren't I? It's gorgeous. I call my grandma my seed. That you should have that one main person in your life that you turn to no matter what. And they will, they love you and care enough about you that no matter what's going on, they're able to keep that open frame of mind to be able to tell you exactly how it is and be upfront and honest with you, even if it's it, it hurts you and breaks your heart, they're able to be that person. Where, for instance, if a friend of mine at work, I told them about this issue I'm having with a boyfriend that he cheated on me, and my grandma would look at me and go, fuck me once, shame on you, fuck me twice, shame on me. The friend at work would be like, oh, but he's so cute, give him a chance, and go... You need somebody in your life that can be brutally honest with you, but know that they still love you no matter what. And my grandma, she's honestly not even really blood related to me, but she's that person for me. I call her my seed. She's that, that main part of that tree that will always be there. Uh, and she's she's been there through a lot. And it, honestly, I've really only known her. I mean, it's I'm going on like six years, something like that. But she is that one person in my life that truly knows everything about me. And some of this video, and she will even vouch for it. Uh, when I say this series, is, I've literally changed my life. She has actually pointed out to me that I'm not the same person I was a year and a half ago. I have literally changed a lot of my life. And she can tell just by the tone of my voice, I'm happier. And some of this has to do with that. So you have... I, I, you can have one, two, maybe three people there that are your seed. That was the start of everything. The, the main person you turn to. And sometimes they're not able to be there. Uh, there's some people who it truly is their grandma and their grandma passes. You may never find that more one main core person there. But you will still have a couple people there in your life that are going to be there through the end. Those I call the roots. Those are my core people. And I have quite a few. I'm not going to go through naming names. They pretty much know who they are. And if I name names, I know I would hurt people's feelings. And I don't want to bring that on them. But 
you have your core people, the main people you turn to that they know some of your deepest, darkest secrets, and you can literally trust them with your life. It's some of the type of people that they would jump in front of a bullet for you, and you would jump in front of a bullet for them, depending on the situation. Because <laughs> I already hear my grandma arguing against it. That's the, that's the type of people. You can joke, you can be funny, you can be completely serious and have in-depth conversations that you don't have to worry about what you say because they honestly understand and truly get you. Those are the core people. You need those in your life. They are the ones that you can turn to that if you are having a lot of negative thoughts, you can get them out, share them with them, and be able to try to reverse that into a positive. Okay, so you've got your core. Then you have your tree stump, the ones that will be there for a good portion of your life, but you can't fully trust them. When a bad storm comes through, they're chopped off. That tree's fallen over, but those roots are still there. Your core is still there. So the tree stump I call my limited life buddies. They're people who can maybe in your life 20, 30, 40 years, but they're not going to be there for the good portion that no matter what, they're going to be there. If a bad storm comes, something big happens, they're going to fade off. And those type of people, you still need those in your lives, but you have to just differ. And those, those are the ones that was difficult for me, debating between my limited life and my core. That was, that was a big decision making for me. And I figured out, and it's just, if it involves you taking out a sheet of paper, writing out the names of people you, you are debating between core and that limited life, write the positive and negatives of each and who would make a better for this portion that you, you feel are going to be there for that long run and who's going to be there for that limited life run. <laughs> I can't think of another name for that. Um, so if you come up with something, please post it in the comment bar below or write or, or do a video response. I, I will gladly appreciate it, and I might even do a video response back. <gasps> what? Okay. So you've got your core and your limited life. Basically, I've explained the difference between the two. And then you have your branches. The one that that nice rainstorm comes, and they fall and crash and break your new car? Yeah. Those are the acquaintances. It may be somebody you work with for a year that you're like, oh my god, we're best buddies, and then you're like... I'm leaving the job, I've got a better position, and then you don't talk to them again, and you see them in Walmart, hey, we need to hang out. Those are acquaintances. And even some of the people that you spend a lot of time with, I still consider acquaintances, because I know they're not going to be there for that long portion. They may, they come when they need something, or you come when they need something. I mean, those are the tree branches. And that's what you have to differ in life, and what you do, and what you say and think and who you talk to, who you interact with. A lot of the acquaintances are probably going to be more of your negatives. A lot of the people I got rid of in my, in my life are more of the acquaintances because they're more of those negative people. It's the people who are the fly by night. And then your limited life buddies are a little bit more sturdy. They're the ones you can kind of lean on if you're falling and they'll be there to help you get back up. And then you have your core who are going to be there to pick you up no matter what. Figure out those people in your life. Find that core person or people in your life that you can lean on no matter what. And once you get that solid ground, you're able to finish building the house. It's a good reference. Once you get that solid like foundation, you can build the rest. Oh, yeah. So keep that all in mind and consideration when you're really talking with a lot of your friends. And it may take you just to take a step back when you're starting to do a lot of this and step away from a lot of your friends and find out who's truly there. If you don't message them for two weeks and you message, they message you and you continue talking like you haven't spoken to them in like months and it's kind of that awkward bit, they're probably not going to be your core. One of my best friends is in Florida and her name's Brittany. And literally we won't talk for six months. We pick up the phone and have a two-hour long conversation, and it's like I just walked out of her bedroom into the bathroom and back into her bedroom. Like, it, you have those core people in your life, and it's people who's going to always be there. And you need to figure out, again, write it down. That's what I had to do. I had to write out who's my core people, and I now understand who's going to stay in my life and who's not. And there are a lot of people that even your acquaintances will teach you a lot. 
I've learned a lot from a lot of my acquaintances, but I know it's not people who's going to be in my life the rest of my life. Keep all that in mind when you're going through a lot of this, and it's, this is kind of like that, that big challenge. This was one of the bigger steps for me. I gave up alcohol easy. I gave up all this other stuff easy. This is one of the bigger steps in finding your true self, because a lot of people base themselves off a lot of people around them, and I was one of those people. I, I, all, I stayed myself no matter where I was at, but I still kind of altered to the environment. So if you find your true people, it's a lot easier to find your true self. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I, I really hope I'm getting across. Please leave comments. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Uh, email me. I, I'll put my email down there, too, for you to be able to get in touch with me. And I will gladly, if you guys have any questions, any comments, and I don't want negative. I want you guys to have a good day, good night, good afternoon, whatever it is when you're watching this video. I love you. Keep in mind, no matter where you are, no matter where you're at, you're always loved. You're always loved. You're always loved. Love you guys. Technically fourth, if you include the opening. Uh, the opening. Sorry. <laughs> Dirty!